are parents to be blamed for sibling rivalry? The answer is yes, and the answer is also no. Now, parents are not solely to be blamed, but they play a significant role in shaping sibling dynamics. But they are not solely the problem. Their actions, however, and their inactions can either maximize, exasperate, and, you know, all of that that it does. Other factors, like a child's age, the personality, external influences can contribute to sibling conflict. However, if parents have enough knowledge to be able to bridge the gap, this wouldn't be a problem. Here is a balanced view <laughs> of where parents might be responsible and where other factors can come in. How parents may contribute to sibling rivalry. My name is Wendy Oluge and you're welcome to my channel. I'm called Africa's number one parent coach. And yes, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do that right about now because you are about to hear the most solid parenting advice today and share with your family and friends. Number one is favoritism. Yes, I've heard, I know you've heard so much about, you know, people saying, don't show favorite, don't, you know, be, and all of that. Now, it's, it's more than that. Showing preference to one child over another, whether it's intentional or not, actually fuels resentment that might not be seen in the immediate time. And competition that you might never see until these children get into adulthood. Sometimes, favoritism goes like something like giving one child more attention or rewarding more child more frequently or even just placing the best other and one child perceives that one child is favored over another one of the deepest thing that happens with favoritism is that it leads to deep resentment sometimes the child that is resenting the sibling may never know why that's the risk of favoritism number two comparison now, when you compare two children, why can't you be more like your sister? Most times we compare. I have found that 90% of the times, parents are caught in the rope of comparison. Things like, can't you just be like your brother? Things like, at your age, I never had any issue with any of your siblings. You are the only one that's given me this kind of challenge. Things like, I've never been to any child school for any problem, you are the first. That's you comparing. It doesn't look like it, but it is what it is. You can undermine that child's sense of individuality and foster rivalry because children feel pressured to compete for approval and recognition. I usually say that there are three things your child is looking for in a parent. They are looking for a parent who would approve them. They are looking for a parent who will recognize them and they are looking for a parent who will give them attention. These three things are the things that a child is constantly vying for. And these three things are the bane of sibling rivalry. Number three, unresolved conflict. If parents avoid dealing with conflict between siblings and dismiss the argument, it allows negative feelings to fester and consistent lack of conflict resolution can intensify rivalry. You know, when you say they are young, they will deal with it. When they are old, they will stop fighting. When you say things like that, you are actually fostering sibling rivalry because you're not dealing with the issues that need to be dealt with. Number four, inconsistent parenting and discipline. When you set different expectations or rules for each child and you can create a feeling of injustice, if he swore to me by brother, they will not drag him. But if it's me, they will deal with me. It allows negative feelings to actually grow. When one child feels that they are being treated unfairly, it will lead to resentment towards the sibling who seem to have an advantage. Number five, lack of guidance. You know, many times people have said that trauma is what was done to them. But I say that beyond what was done to you, trauma is also what was supposed to be done to you that wasn't done. 
if your parents were supposed to give you attention the way they should and they actually missed it that can traumatize the child if a parent was supposed to guide the child in the way that they should go that can be a source of trauma so yes lack of guidance is a big deal Children relationship requires emotional guidance so if parents don't teach their children how to share resolve conflict or communicate their feelings it can result to an ongoing tension so it is your duty to learn how to do these things and begin to help your children also begin to turn things around number six this will be many parents on this table busy and overwhelmed parent how many times have you said i'm busy i'm overwhelmed i don't have time parents with very hectic schedules or who are stressed may not notice or address growing tension towards their children because you don't know what's happening this can leave sibling conflict unaddressed worsening rivalry over time you're not putting the time i said in my book called restore um the, my book called discipline is not an emergency and i wrote that one of the biggest assets of parenting is time when you don't do the time you can't see the lapses now it is the time that will get you to be able to actually join our class dealing with sibling rivalry to be able to learn what you need to do differently to help your child actually solve their problems themselves when siblings cannot resolve their issues it is actually a lack of skill it is not just a function of I, I i just want to resent my child or my sibling when siblings lack skills they can't resolve their issues themselves now what are the other factors that are not parental control right most times you would need to also know what these factors are so that you will be able to regulate it from your own point of view number one is personality clashes children like every people have unique temperament sometimes siblings will crash because of the difference in personality but the point will be do you know what those personalities are how do you bridge the gap part of what you're going to be learning at our course dealing with sibling rivalry will be this number two developmental stages eight differences developmental stages can cause friction yes for instance a toddler and a teenager will have vastly different needs and perspective which can create natural conflict but if you understand it you will know what it is to do to help both your teenager and your toddler number three is external influences outsiders factors like school experiences friendship societal pressures this can also contribute to rivalry for instance if one child is bullied at school they may take out the frustration of that being bullied at school on their sibling at home and that can cost a whole lot do you recognize where you need to play a part number four bet order is out of your control but it's something you can regulate bet order can affect sibling dynamics as first bonds you actually may feel pressured to be a role model and sometimes parents subtly actually you know even make it more obvious while younger siblings will actually struggle to assert their independence these inherent tensions can contribute to rivalry and number five life changes major life changes like divorce like relocation like financial struggles can actually exasperate sibling rivalry as children cope with stress and uncertainty in different ways parents are not solely to be blamed for sibling rivalry but they do have a very strong significant influence on how sibling relationships evolve while personality differences and external factors play a role parents can either fuel or diminish or work on sibling rivalry based on their approach and their knowledge to parenting when you begin to do this you will find out that irrespective of the structure whether the structure is external or internal from parents you can deal with it because you have more knowledge see you in that class when you learn on dealing with sibling rivalry have an amazing day and see you again next week at friday 
rate coach wendy make sure that you share this video and you also subscribe to our channel don't forget to catch other ones we've done or even our live videos that we share every tuesday see ya sibling rivalry doesn't just come from anywhere you could be the cause here's how if you're giving your children unequal time or attention if you keep on drawing comparisons between two or more of your children if you assign specific identity rules like girls wash the plates boys you can go and sleep that can cause sibling rivalry if you expect them to react or behave the same way or if you take sides while they're having an argument or a fight hmm. are you guilty of any of these because if yes then sibling rivalry is probably locking around your household but don't panic because we can help you the International Parents Academy will be running a course titled Dealing with Sibling Rivalry for just 10,500 Naira. Register for this course right now using the details on your screen and let us help you deal with sibling rivalry in your household.